hello guys welcome back to my channel this is another video of cambridge primary checkpoint this is paper 2 october 2018 and time is 45 minutes to complete this paper and the additional material that you can use is pen pencil ruler protector and calculator tracing paper is optional if you need it you can use so these are the instructions you can go through and you can have screenshot of this so without any delay let's start so question one put these fractions in order starting with the smallest now we have these fractions here you can see denominator is same so it's very easy uh, to uh, know which one is smallest with the smallest numerator that will be the smallest so two comes first then after that is 5, then 6, and then it is 9. Uh, 1, sorry, I missed number 2, 1, this is 2, and this is 3 and 4. We have 4 fractions here. So, it's easy now to write them down. So, the first one will be 2 over 10. Second is... 5 over 10, 3rd is 6 over 10, and 4th is 9 over 10. Number 2, here are some digit cards. You can see some cards here. Use the 3 of these digits to complete these calculations. So, we are using 3 of this. So, now we see, you see you have 0 here. So, that means uh, what gives you 0? So, this is 0, so you can take any number here. Uh, so, let's take, uh, if I take like 3 here, 3 times 5, it is 15, but we have 6 here. So, if we see that 7 times 9, it is 63. So, it can be 7 and 9 here. 7 times 9, it is 63. So, it will be 630, right? Or it may be like 90 times 7 also so then also it may gives us this one uh, so now the next one you can see we have used three cards of 7 9 and 3 7 9 and 3 now number 3 uh, write the missing numbers in the sequence so we have this sequence here if you look around this so we are having each sequence by subtracting 100 right so if you subtract 100 from here the next one will be uh, 3 6 8 6 right uh, so here you are going to add 100 plus 100 here this is going to be 6 8 9 plus 1 4 0 8 6 right so that's number three now let's move to number four question number four we have here Ico draws a shape on a square grid you can see the shape right so this is the starting point Ico writes instruction to draw the shape so to draw the shape means you will start from here and then you will come back here she begins the corner label start Complete the instructions. First one is up 3. So you can see we have here. Uh, let me use pencil for there. Up 3. 1, 2, 3. Up. Then you have 2 right. 2 right means here. Then after that we have to complete. This is 1 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. Okay. So up. We are going to use the same language. So it will be up. 3 right 2 is done we again we have then up 1 and right uh, it was 4 and if we reached here then from here how many down 1 2 3 4 down 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 left okay so down 4 and left is 6 right so you just need to go step by step okay so now number five uh, Rajiv pours 
175 ml of water into a measuring jug right here draw a line to show the level of the water in the jug so 175 you can see we have 100 here so 1 2 3 4 there are four sections so that means each section uh, represents uh, it is 25 yeah so 25 ml so 25 50 75 100 then 150 is here and 175 will be here so our line should be here so this is the level of water in the jug okay now moving to next part b uh, rajiv needs a total of 400 ml of water how much water does he had to add uh, give your answer in liters. So, you know that we he already have 175 ml of water. So, he needs 400, and 400 ml. So, we need to subtract that. If you subtract that, uh, it is 5, 2 and 2, 225 ml. But your answer should be in liters. So, we will divide it by 1000. So, your answer is 0 0.225 liters. Okay. So that's it for this one. Uh, number six, convert 3.5 meters into centimeters. So as you know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we are going to multiply this by 100. So this will be three, five, then two zeros. There is one decimal place. You are going to put one decimal place. So this is 350 ml, uh, sorry, centimeters. So that is the final answer. Number seven, the table shows the heights of three children. Name of the child and height is given to us and we have three graphs here. The graph shows the same information that is shown in the table. Uh, which graph shows the re results most correctly and explain your answer. So we have to write down first one of these graphs. Then we will see which one is the correct one. Right. Now. Uh, Yuri 147, Mia 119 and Lily has height of 126 centimeters. So if we look into the graphs here, so you see here is the gap of 100 and here it is 50, here it is 20. So you can see these graphs are very near and these graphs are also near and this is you can see easily the difference. So in graph C we can easily see the difference because the scale is spread out more I mean like we have the small scale here so we can see it more accurately uh, so first of all we need to write down uh, graph C shows the correct information is at which graph shows so we need to write down here graph C right why because graph C it can be read it can be read sorry it can be read more accurately because of their distribution of the uh, scale right so that was number seven so let's move to number eight draw a line to join each question to correct rounding decision so we have a division question here then rounding so that means we need to first solve the question then we see we, we can round it up or down right so first one 16 apples are put into bag of five how many full bags are needed so that means 16 divided by five so you can easily use calculator for this but i have already calculated this is 3.2 so 3.2 you can see this number this number is less than 5 so that means we are going to round it down so this will be matched to rounding down uh, next a mini bus holds 10 people 56 people are going on trip how many mini buses are needed so 56 divided by 10 is equal to 5.6 now this number is like uh, more than 5 so it can be rounded up it should be rounded up so uh, we are going to match this to round up and next a pumpkin costs 
dollar 3 how can you how many can you buy with dollar 10 so that means 10 divided by 3 which is 3.3 .3. so this will again go down so this is rounding down number and the last one and 35 candles are put into four boxes how many boxes are needed to hold all of them so 35 divided by 4 uh, 4 times seven, uh, 4 times 8 32 3 it will be 8.7 right so this will be rounded up so this is rounded up so that's it for this question you can go slowly one by one but you need to be careful about the timing also because you have only 45 minutes to complete this paper now number nine draw the reflection of the shape in the mirror line you can see we have a mirror line here this is the mirror line so to reflect this shape you can use the uh, tracing paper right so let me get the tracing paper here so you can first trace this shape right so this is the mirror line so it's easy so you can just fold it on the mirror line like this okay so you see your new shape should be here so press hard to get the points so this is the point like this uh, this one is here okay so that's how you can reflect the shape but please use ruler to draw these lines question 10 a bag contains 24 beads which are red or green or blue one by third of the beads are red one by four are blue how many are green we are looking for the green so uh, red plus blue we can just uh, use as a fraction uh, 1 over 4 so uh, making denominator same times 4 times 3 here so this is 4 over 12 plus 3 over 12 that is 7 over 12 is uh, both red and blue so we are looking for the green so green one will be 1 minus 7 over 12 so 1 minus 7 over 12 it is uh, to make this same you can divide by 100 and uh, 12 and 12 so 12 minus 7 it is 5 over 12 so our answer is 5 over 12 of the beads are green so number of green so we are not done yet here so number of green beads is 5 over 4 or 12 of 24 because we are given the total number of beads is 24 so 5 over 12 so 12 times 2 24 5 times 2 it is 10 so our final answer is 10 beads you can again check the working right now number 11 complete the following we have the calculations here 9 divided by 3 so 3 times 6 it is 18 and 1 so this is remainder so remainder always go up here 6 is there so 6 1 over 3 is the answer easy now this one you need to break it up uh, it's divided by 4 so this usually you can go this way 4 times 3 plus 3 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 it is 15 so 15 will go in this box question 12 use the digit 1 2 7 and 8 to complete the calculation so uh, it's like you have to use calculator really for this one uh, so this is 7 here so that means you should have it's very simple like you have 1 and 7 1 times 7 that's why you're going to get 7 here so rest you can put any of them it's you can see it's not that hard so either you can put 8 here or you can put 2 here it's simple 
so this calculation is easy now number 13 here is the shape drawn on the coordinate grid you can see the grid shape here uh, the question is the shape is translated two squares right two squares right and three squares down so we can choose any corner uh, let me choose this one two squares right two squares right means we are going one two here and three down one two three so that means this corner came here so down we have two here and to this side two squares one square up so this is your final shape okay this question is of one mark only question 14 the graph shows the height of a maple tree at the end of each year right so this is graph to show the growth of maple tree you can see we have height here in centimeter and time in years along x-axis now let's see the question the question is how tall was the tree after three years we are looking for three years three years is here so if you go up on three year up to the graph we have this point how much is this this is 40 right so our answer is 40 centimeters right so going from here up there and then you read this one okay now part b uh, the tree grows 15 centimeters in fifth year plot the new height of the tree on the graph right so tree grows in the fifth year fifth year is 15 centimeters so after this you are going to have this 15 uh, so it stopped here at uh, 50 right so uh, let's see and uh, this is 50 here and this is 52 so 52 plus 15 centimeters more so this will be 67 so 67 is fifth year is here this is the line of fifth year so 61 uh, 60 62 64 66 and 67 will be in the middle somewhere so then you can draw a line from here like this so that's how you can complete this graph so that's it for this one uh, so uh, that's the end of this video so we have covered question 1 to 14 in this part in the second part we will do the remaining ones so if you guys like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching god bless you guys